And now it's time for Modest Farm, with guest appearances from Ink Horse, Clay Duck and Paper Pig, Earth Bird, and of course, Wire Chicken, hosted by our dear friend, Farmer Layla. Have a marvelous time. Hello, welcome back to Modest Farms. My name is Farmer Layla, and today we're going to be making a colorful chicken out of window crayons. So, all you need are these special crayons meant to draw on windows and some imagination. You'll be all set. Let's get to work. All right. Now, this colorful chicken isn't any specific breed of chicken, so I'm just going to do a very basic chicken, and we are going to use four different colors. Um, but you can do whatever colors you want. It's really up to you and your imagination. I am actually going to start out just like we have been by just kind of making the chest and the neck on one side. And so that's the uh, bottom of the chest and the neck. And then I am going to change uh, excuse my imagination and I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to do the other side. So the head will be here and then I'm going to just kind of go down continue the neck. And then I will kind of just go down. I'm going to take my yellow here and just kind of do what we have been doing. And I'm going to make that little bump for its leg and come back up. And then I will do the tail. That's like a greenish. Um, so now I will actually use my green here, and I will do the face, so I'm going to do the comb, just kind of squiggle down, and then I will make my waddle yellow, just kind of do that little curved line shape right there, then I will take my blue, I will make a blue beak, and just kind of make the beak. Nose, and I will make my eye blue as well. And for the pupil of the eye, I'll just be a red dot. And then for the wing, I will take some more yellow, and I will just kind of do a V like that, and curve it back up. And then I will color in just kind of little patches. So like with the red, I will do some red here. I can do the earlobe and the face. Blend it in a little if you want. You can do like polka dots, like this. It's really up to you, so you can do whatever. But I will make my legs, or the legs, blue. So I will come down, just like we've been doing. Just kind of do our two little toes in the front, and our tiny toe in the back. Color that leg in, and then some green toenails, and there you go. There is your colorful chicken, and if you want to do more, that is up to you. You can do polka dots, you can do like a little stripes on the chest, um, but it's up to you. Just be creative, and you can come up with something amazing. So, here is our finished piece, our colorful chicken. Now, if you just hold on tight, 
I can take you to my real life farm and we can see our chickens in real life. Hey creators, this is Miss Vicky. I'm about to video chat with Farmer Layla. Hopefully she's on the farm by now. I can't wait to find out more about her chickens. All right, so first I will show you um, my special room where all the chicken feed is. So, kind of have this room right on the side of the house where we store our feed of chickens. So here is their, um, their main food that they eat every day. And we kind of, we have two types of food that we mix together. Here are all the treats we have. seed mix and we'll have sunflower seeds that they really like. Um, and then here, which is also empty, I have uh, it's actually crushed up uh, rocks, crushed up granite. And it sounds kind of weird, right? Chickens eating rocks. But because birds don't have teeth, um, they can't chew their food, they can't digest it. And so what they need to do is eat these pieces of rocks from grit. And then they have this special place uh, in their stomach called a gizzard. And the rocks kind of mix together with the food and crush it up so they can actually digest their food. Alright, so get a scooper. And I just need to mix in a just knocked over the water. She got really excited. Hi chickens! Oh, the Polish hens are coming. Alright, here we go. Oh, yummy. Alright, so here are all the chickens enjoying their yummy, yummy corn and their worms and their oyster shells. As you can see, this one right here, that's Pepper. See, she's missing a few feathers here and there. Um, she's going through a molt. So that's kind of when, because Pepper's molting kind of late now, but early to mid-fall, uh, sometimes even late summer, they, um, they shed some of their feathers, and then they, the feathers grow back even thicker and fluffier for the winter. Now, Pepper is a late molter. Most of these chickens have already molted, but that's a good example to show you guys of a molting chicken. So it's very important for her because feathers are made mostly of protein for her to get her protein in so she can grow feathers and it doesn't take too much of her energy. Because molting can be pretty exhausting for a chicken to have to grow back all these feathers. It takes a lot of energy so you gotta make sure she eats really well. And everybody else is looking really really healthy and fluffy and I am sure that Pepper will be like that in no time. So that's good. Another thing about it kind of cooling down um, and everybody's kind of going through their molt, even after that, uh, egg production goes down. So we have 15 chickens um, 
and we get a total, uh, I guess an average in the summer. Oh, looks like someone pecked poor Missy over there. It's probably Rosie, which is another reason why you keep the, the treat spread out so that the chickens that don't get along so well can still eat um, within a relative distance of each other. But um, what I was saying about the eggs, um, in the summer we get from 15 chickens, we get probably an average of 10 to 12 eggs just like in a single day. Uh, chickens only lay once a day. That's another uh, common uh, myth is that chickens lay more than one egg a day. Nope, just one egg a day or less. Chickens don't lay every day. Um, but now in the winter, I mean we're lucky if we get two eggs. Sometimes we get no eggs from all 15 and a lot of them are still still old, still young enough to lay. So, but yeah, I guess that's just kind of the cold. It takes a lot of energy to keep warm. They don't have coats. The little Smokey here is very fluffy, but she doesn't have a coat, and so it still takes energy to keep warm. So that's why it's important to feed them all of this good stuff. All right, I hope you enjoyed seeing my chickens be fed. I had a lot of fun feeding them, and they seemed pretty happy. All right, thank you for watching Modest Farms, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!